Hello and welcome to The Scientist Room. My name is Yoko Pak, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Teenage Engineering's OP1, and oh, do I love it. I can't even begin to emphasize how much I love this. Now, if you've been watching my show for a while, then you probably know how much I love FM synthesis. But if you don't, uh, I really love FM synthesis and OP1 delivers, incredibly so. What we're going to be creating today is this sound. It's a bell gong sound created using FM synthesis. And we're gonna begin by choosing a new preset slot to work from. These are the preset buttons right here and I'm gonna press number two. Right now we've got another synthesizer loaded and to get access to the list of different kinds of synthesis engines, you just hold down shift and press the preset key again. To the left you have the synthesis engines and to the right you have the presets. Just turn the blue knob until you get to your desired synthesis option and then choose a preset to the right. We've already got a bell preset loaded so all I'm gonna do is press 2 again and here we are. So let's listen to it. Oh, that sounds lovely, absolutely lovely. Now I'm gonna start by changing the algorithm, the way that the FM operators that you can see right here are routed, and you do that with the white knob. Now we're gonna change the rates that the FM operators are running at. To change the rates, you use the green knob. I'm really liking what I'm hearing here. So the next thing we're gonna do is to go down an octave. Now there's a bit too much dissonance in the sound and I want it to be more in phase. And we can do that by turning the orange knob. It sounds so good. We're getting close, but now we actually need to tweak the envelope a little bit. And right here, you have access to all the synthesis engine menus. So button number one chooses the menu we're in right now, where we control the operators. Button number two chooses the envelope. Three is for the FX section, and the fourth is the LFO. This is your modulating section. More of that later on. Let's get back to the envelope. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now let's go to the FX section. And as you can see, it's off right now. You turn it on by pressing the same button again. And the FX we're gonna choose is a spring reverb. I love Teenage Engineering for this. I love that they put this in here. Hold down shift, press three, and go into the menu all the way down and you have the spring reverb right there. Press three again. Oh, it looks so cool. The first knob controls the dampening of the spring. The second green knob controls the number of turns that the spring make. The third white knob controls the slope of the spring. And the fourth, last and orange knob controls the amplification. Now we're gonna add some modulation too. So go to the fourth page, turn it on, and then go into the list of different kinds of modulation sources by holding down shift, pressing four, and we get into the list. Again, we use the blue knob to choose what we want, and I'm gonna choose element. This is a pretty cool modulation effect. Right now it says G, and with that chosen, you can actually control stuff inside the OP1 and the synthesizer by shaking the OP1 physically. If I switch to the microphone signal, I can use the built-in microphone to actually control stuff inside here. Then you have the envelope, 
And then you have this symbol, and this is what we're going to use. And I honestly don't know what that means, and I didn't really read the manual for it. So now the green knob sets the strength of the modulation. The white knob sets what you're supposed to modulate, I think, like FX, envelope, or the operators. And the last one, I have no idea what that does, but I'm going to keep it in this mode. I'm just going to turn up this knob a bit, and now it's sounding like this. I love the OP1 and I've just started digging into what this incredible and very very unique unit can do. It's got loads of stuff buried underneath its very sturdy shell and that's one thing that really hit me when I got this in my hands. It's heavy, it's built so well and the knobs doesn't jiggle. The buttons feel really really nice when pressing them. The OLED display is so nice to look at and it's like in and gratification as soon as you turn it on you'll definitely see me make more videos of this as long as I get to have this in my possession because it isn't mine I just borrowed it from Teenage Engineering as usual Doug Woods Colin Sweeney and me Yoko Paket soundtrisroom.com wishes you a very productive week now go finger your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it